Hello, this is Antonia from Heimdall and today we're talking about zero-day attacks. A zero-day is a software vulnerability that is unknown to the software vendor or developer. Since it hasn't been patched yet, attackers can exploit this flaw before any mitigation is in place. This leads to what is called a zero-day attack, where cyber criminals take advantage of the vulnerability to compromise systems often before the affected parties even realize there's a risk. So, a zero-day attack starts when a developer unknowingly releases vulnerable code, which is then discovered and exploited by a malicious actor. If the attack succeeds, it often leads to identity or data theft. The attack only stops being a zero-day exploit once the developer created a patch and applied it. Vulnerability introduced. Vulnerable code is unknowingly included in software, applications, operating systems, web browsers, Internet of Things, and even hardware. Exploit released. A hacker discovers the vulnerability and deploys exploit code before it's patched. Vulnerability discovered. The vendor becomes aware of the issue but hasn't released a patch yet. Antivirus signatures released. If attackers have developed zero-day malware targeting the vulnerability, then antivirus vendors can quickly identify its signature and provide protection against it. However, systems may remain vulnerable if there are any other ways of exploiting the flaw. Security patch released. A public fix is issued, though the timeline depends on the vendor's development process. Security patch deployment. Users must apply the patch, which can take some time. Automatic updates help mitigate this delay. Systems are at risk during all seven stages, but the zero-day attack specifically occurs between stages two and four. These attacks can remain undetected for long periods, sometimes taking days, months, or even years to identify and address. North Korean hackers exploited a zero-day vulnerability to breach Sony's network, resulting in the leak of sensitive company data, including unreleased movies, employee information, and emails. The attack was politically motivated and severely disrupted Sony's operations. Operation Aurora, a cyber espionage campaign targeting major corporations like Google, Adobe, and others. Hackers exploited a zero-day vulnerability in Internet Explorer to gain access to intellectual property and sensitive information believed to be linked to Chinese state-sponsored actors. A highly sophisticated worm that exploited multiple zero-day vulnerabilities to target Iran's nuclear facilities. It is widely believed to be a joint U.S.-Israel operation aimed at sabotaging Iran's nuclear centrifuges by infecting industrial control systems. Defending against zero-day exploits can be challenging because they involve vulnerabilities that are unknown to vendors and unpatched. However, several strategies can help reduce the risk of becoming a victim of such attacks. Patch management. Deploying software patches promptly after a vulnerability is discovered can help reduce the risk of an attack. However, if hackers develop their um, exploit faster than the patch is applied, an attack may still occur. The longer the patching process takes, the greater the risk of a zero-day attack. Threat detection tools. Deploy advanced threat detection tools such as intrusion detection systems, intrusion prevention systems, and endpoint detection and response. These systems monitor for unusual behavior or patterns that may signal an attack even before a specific vulnerability is known. Network segmentation. Isolating critical systems and sensitive data into separate segments of your network can prevent an attacker from easily accessing all resources after exploiting a zero-day vulnerability. Vulnerability scanning. Vulnerability scanning solutions can simulate attacks on software, analyze code for errors, and identify new issues introduced by software updates. However, this method won't catch all zero-day exploits and 
Scanning alone isn't sufficient. Businesses must act swiftly on scan results and review code thoroughly to prevent potential exploits. Security awareness training. Train employees to recognize phishing attempts, social engineering, and suspicious behavior. Many zero-days exploits begin with human error, such as opening malicious attachments. Implementing least privilege access. Limit user privileges and access rights to only what is necessary for their roles. This reduces the impact of an attack if a zero-day is exploited as attackers will have minimal access to critical systems. Web application firewalls. Deploy them to protect web applications from common attack vectors that might exploit zero-day vulnerabilities. Web application firewalls can provide an additional layer of defense by filtering and monitoring HTTP requests. And this is all for today. If you find this video useful, make sure you like it, share it with your connections, and subscribe to Heimdall's YouTube channel.